The first thing you need to do is set your IP address assignment from DHCP to manual just to make sure you don't run into any IP conflicts. As you can see, two new tabs pop up on the left hand side, one being IP configuration 1 where you need to assign a unique IP address to your ProServe. Please make sure that this is not within your, the DHCP range and your IP subnet in most cases is probably going to be 222.55.0. IP configuration 2 lets you assign the IP address of your router for your LAN. The next thing you have to do is enable any of our 18 zones that the ProSurf offers for controlling your KNX environment. Those zones being your rooms most likely in your project. Each zone can be easily enabled by just selecting this. So let's say we're using three zones as you can see on the left hand side again those zones will pop up. Each zone offers a maximum of 16 functions. Those functions can be anything from switching, dimming, RGB control, blind control, auxiliary functions like opening a garage door or arming, disarming an alarm system, status information which will give you feedback on temperatures, levels, gauges, uh, also alarm information like open windows, closed windows, and control functions, We're going to come to those in another tutorial, as well as URL schemes, which are really cool because they enable you to call another app from within our app. But we're also going to come to those in another tutorial. Additionally to those 16 functions per zone, per room, you also have a room controller, which is your temperature controller for your room, and a maximum of five light scenes per zone that can be assigned to two communication objects scene 1 and scene uh, scene 1a and scene 1b let's say you need more than 16 functions within one zone because you have a huge living area where you have uh, a lot of blinds and a lot of light circuits you need to control then you can easily go into zone selections and give those two zones the same name, so in our case this would be living, and then those zones will be merged so you only have one living zone within your apps which will then give you 32 objects to be added to that zone. You can extend that to as many up to as many zones as you'd like. So let's say our third zone here is our master bedroom. We furthermore have the global functions where you can enable a local KNX based weather station and enable or disable any of those communication objects you might need. So as you can see if we do have an information for brightness east and I have it enabled I have all the corresponding communication objects all out there for me to drag and drop my group addresses to. Furthermore we have for future usage, it's not enabled within our app, the possibility to enable a date, time and date stamp and also in the future to enable an internet weather forecast if I don't have a local weather station I can have the weather.com information shown for the uh, specific city. We have a password or user management so you can have up to four user passwords which then allows you to access certain zones and certain objects in certain zones. So you could have a user code for the house owner and he can control his entire house and you could have a password only for the kids and one only for the guests so according to your settings the kids and the guests can only access whatever you give them to control. And the last thing will be covered in another tutorial. Those are the URL schemes we're going to come to a little bit later. Thank you.